As far as Flash goes, um, how this patch is going to affect Flash, because some of you have thus asked what my opinion on um, on how this is going to be for Flash. So, if we go over like the combination of nerfed and buffed characters, because the thing is, Flash hasn't changed. Like he's left alone, and for me, it's kind of like um, it's like good and bad because. I personally would like a little bit of love for Flash, nothing crazy, like, but whatever. Um, some people want him to be nerfed. I'm glad he's not nerfed. Um, so, like, some of his trouble matchups, like Catwoman, for example, it used to be, like, I, I would have said 6-4 Catwoman. Now it's probably going to be a 5-5, five five, but it's, it's kind of early to tell because I haven't actually played the matchup yet, it's, uh, post-patch, but it, it, theoretically, it, it'll be easier. Um... Supergirl is another one that was a problem for Flash, and now it should be easier as well. Um, Enchantress got nerfed, but I don't, I've never really played the matchup too much. I don't know how, about that. Black Adam got a very slight nerf, but I honestly don't really think it'll change the matchup that much. I think, I think it'll still be the same. Uh, I don't think Red Hood's nerf will really matter. Maybe, maybe Flash will beat him. I don't know. Um, but he, Red Hood was never really a problem for Flash anyways. And then Hellboy got a little bit of a nerf, but I didn't really feel like Hellboy was a problem for Flash either. So, like, as far as, like, the characters that gave Flash problems that are now nerfed and they won't be as bad, I would say it's, like, Catwoman and Supergirl. Like, they both beat Flash, but now they probably don't, probably don't beat him anymore. Um... As far as, like, buffed characters, there's quite a few characters that got buffed. Like, Harley got a buff. I don't think it'll, it'll really change anything. Um, Aquaman got a buff, but the thing is, he already beat Flash. Now it'll just be harder because now he has, big. He has like, good damage again. Um, I don't think Bane's buff is going to matter. Cyborg's buff might matter. It, I, I don't know for certain, though. Um, Starfire, I already felt like she already did pretty well against Flash. Now it's probably just going to be harder. Um, Raiden, I don't know. I don't know anything about Raiden still. Sub Zero, I felt already beat Flash. Now he's just going to beat. Now he's just going to beat Flash harder. Poison Ivy, I'm not too sure about. Green Lantern, I'm not too sure about how his changes are going to affect it. But I feel like the matchup might still end up being five five there. Oh yeah, and then Gorilla Grodd apparently got nerfed as well. But I already thought Flash did fine against Grodd, so that doesn't really matter. I feel like Flash is probably going to... Uh, Alvarez in the chat says Cyborg beats Flash. I don't know. I, I haven't really played the matchup that much. I don't... Off the top of my head, I don't think Cyborg beats Flash, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, as far as like how Flash is going to be um, post-patch, like... Since he hasn't been changed, it's just a matter of like how the tiers have shifted or matchups have changed uh, for him. I think he's probably still gonna kind of remain where he was though, um, because even though like Catwoman got a nerf and Supergirl got a nerf, it's still very possible, not not confirmed, but it's possible that they might still overall matchup wise do better uh, against other characters than Flash. Um, in the grand scheme of things. I think Flash, like, I've always thought he's, like, right outside top 10. I think he might still be right outside top 10.